Hello all, I'm Josh, it's a Josh Build Stuff and forgive my appearance, this is the face with which I was born and also I don't have my usual lighting setup right now because we're going to take a tour of the entire space in which I am in. Prepositions are hard. For those of you who have been around the channel for a while, thank you. And also you may have noticed the background looks a little different lately. That's with intention. For those of you who are new here, welcome. And also the background didn't used to look like this. Without further ado, that's a good wordle starting word. Without further delay, let's take a look around. I'll give a quick once around for the impatient people here, and then I'll go into detail about a couple of individual areas of the office for those who want more details on individual areas of the office. But first, a slight lighting adjustment. Okay, here is the room lit up in all of its boring glory, a lot less colorful than it looked a few moments ago. If you look in this direction, for those who've been around for a while, this used to be where those bookcases were, where a bunch of videos were filmed. Now, that's where my computer desk is. My computer desk was previously over there. Basically every single aspect of this room has changed from what it previously was. I had a couple of goals with this remodel. One, make a better filming space, at least a better looking backdrop. Two, this has to also function as an office because I work from home full time. So I wanted a space in which I enjoyed working and also I thought looked nice while working. And the third somewhat unspoken goal was to spend a bunch of money and we accomplished, I think, all three of those things. So here's what happened. The walls were all painted completely blue. They were just whitish gray before. This used to be a closet because this is technically a fourth bedroom in this house. I took out the closet surround and just made it now, I guess, a nook. These walls are now feature walls, I suppose, with a concrete effect going on a la all of those Lego lifestyle photos. These are also just somewhat modular shelves here. I can rearrange a lot of that. Those are Technic cars displayed on the wall. That's the door to the rest of the house. That's Tupac in his new spot. This is my new computer desk, which I built myself. I put a couple of cabinets up top for some extra storage. And of course, a couple of shelves around the room because I cannot resist uh, showing off a bunch of my stuff. So that's the basics wrapped up. For the impatient, again, most of the furniture is Ikea. Some of it is Ikea plus custom built. The total cost, well, I would feel a little uncouth talking about a thing like that, but I happen to have this spreadsheet pulled up on my computer so you can get a general idea of what I've spent on this remodel so far. Oh, also, track lighting is new. And speaking of lighting, that's the other goal I had here was that I wanted every single light in this office to be somewhat intelligent and I wanted them all to be controllable from a stream deck. And they are, to demonstrate, I'll take all of the track lighting down to 50% brightness on the white. I don't know how much some of this will show up on the exposure here, but we'll use these uh, Technic cars as an example. People have asked about how I got these hung on the wall. These are custom display stands from a company called Huel, H-U-Y-L, hang up your Lego. I think it is a very small, independently owned uh, Italian company. Each of these are like a hundred bucks a piece for the display stands. They're just acrylic, they look very nice. I have them hanging by like picture hanging wire attached to the back of these. Now I always knew I wanted to display those cars. The original plan was to have them displayed over here in what I describe and call my building nook. It's basically a secondary desk area. Most of the time my kids uh, hang out over here building their own Lego or I happen to find a type writer that's the exact same color turquoise as the rest of my office. I can't say that word, I'm sorry. Uh, and so that's where I do most of my writing, we'll say. However, by the time those display plaques arrived, they were dark, which I knew would happen, but I had also then painted my walls a darker blue than I had originally planned. I think it looks good now, but I couldn't put the dark display plaques on the dark background, so I put them on my lighter walls. I think they look good like that. However, I still wasn't in love with it. So I put some track lighting above them and gave myself the ability to change the color of that track lighting. Ooh, that's fun, right? RGB shining down on the red, green, and blue cars, but then I wanted to take it a step further and, you know, give them some backlighting. I'm doing this all from the stream deck, by the way. I'm gonna push a button and then, now they really pop off the wall. And then I wanted to add a few other lighting features and then you turn everything on, you change a bunch of colors and you get something like this. So this is an example of how the room might look when I'm just hanging out and working, right? The background, a cool, colorful looking area like any cool gamer room in the background of a Twitch stream might look like this little build area with a little more lighting on it. And then of course my actual work and build area with some more normal lighting on it. We'll talk about this workspace in a few, but first let's talk about this shelf space over 
over here next to the cars. You got the Ikea sideboard there. I love that piece of furniture. Basically all the wood in here is supposed to be a walnut look, a dark blue wall and a turquoise accent because I really love the color of that Alex drawer. A lot of people go with the white Alex drawers. I'm not about that. A lot of people go with the white Billy bookcases. I'm not about that. This is a modular design. If you get real close, you can see these are just the uh, like rack shelves and it's like the cheap brackets on there, but I can basically change out what's on here very easily. These are actually shelves I had left over from an old project. I'll probably build something new there. I've got some fun backlighting things there. You can't even see where the cords are, right? That was intentional and I wanted that to be just a cool background space to have in the background of my videos. But that dynamic lighting gives me a bunch of different options, right? I can make it red and scary for a Batman review or, you know, do a red, white, and blue theme if you happen to review this new Technic red, white, and blue NASCAR race car, which you can see in my last video. And right now you can see that there's a bunch of Technic vehicles on display because I've been reviewing a lot of Technic vehicles lately. Haven't even reviewed that Ford GT yet. Don't even know if I will. So that's this corner of the room. If you have more questions about things like this, uh, I don't know, cool concrete looking thing or this great looking uh, lighting fixture that I have. I call it great like G-R-A-T-E, not the great as in a compliment to myself. I think it looks great, but they're like, it's like a great. I think it looks kind of like Star Wars-y. I made it myself and I'm proud of it. It looks cool in the background. Moving over here to the build nook. And by the way, I had all of this planned out ahead of time. If you look at my 3D model on Google SketchUp of what I wanted this space to look like, it's actually pretty close to what it turned out looking like. Over here, I've got a couple of the thinner Alex drawers, again in that turquoise. This is a Carly countertop. I think it's Carly from uh, Ikea. They're just in the walnut look. And then I have my stand-up desk legs on here. This is actually a stand-up desk. This is one of the few remnants of things that was actually in use in my old office. That was where I would uh, do my videos from. Some art in the background. That's new. A floating shelf above, again in walnut that I made myself. And then I got a bunch of my stuff on display up there. Originally I was going to go with like really minimalistic shelf designs, not a ton of stuff per shelf. And then I realized that that's not who I am and I just like to show off my stuff. At least there's like a general motif going on here, right? It's kind of like exploration and like undersea stuff because I love undersea stuff and like the Harry Potter set is up there of like the aquatic, uh, whatever the trial was because it vaguely fits the theme and also I just recently built it but that won't be there for long. Also backlighting, cool, right? Also if you have any questions about any of the individual pieces that you see around the office feel free to ask in the comments. I will do my best to answer but I'm not going to get into all of that now. And then we move over to this wall which is the window wall. Bordering the window are some of my custom some Lego mosaics. You may recognize that Stormtrooper from Brixie's space. He built my Stormtrooper model there. I've got the Mandalorian there on the other side, the Darth Vader, which is Lego's official, and then Commander Cody, who appeared in a recent video. This window shade, while boring, is also smart and was also expensive. It's a smart shade. It'll raise and lower itself automatically at sunrise and sunset or whatever time I set it to. And more importantly, I can raise and lower it from the stream deck. Eventually the actual roller there will be hidden, but I haven't gotten around to that part. There are some small things that need to be done around here, touch up paint and whatnot, but we're getting to that. Also, look, a baby swing because I have a newborn. That's why a lot of this has taken me so long. And that happens to match the color scheme of the room. Look at that walnut, navy blue, a little bit of gray matching the gray accent walls. Man, my wife found that. She is such a good decorator and good looking and good at making babies. That's where the baby goes sometimes. Heck, there's a baby monitor right now hidden behind this cool piece of decor. She's kind of fighting sleep right now, so uh, that needs to be going. Onto the final and maybe my favorite space in the room, my workspace. It looks simple enough, right? Big old desk, couple of cabinets and shelves up top, and a place for your best friend Tupac to hang out with you while you work. This desk is somewhat custom. Again, a couple of Alex drawers, and unfortunately the Alex drawers aren't tall enough if you just put the casters on them by themselves. They're, they don't sit well at a desk height, and so I had to add custom legs to the bottom of that, again, in some walnut. And then I put this desktop on top here, and unfortunately, it wasn't deep enough by itself when I just put the desktop in, so I added a cool upper desk shelf piece there. It makes the desk a little awkward in depth, but uh, I've got plans to cover up some of that. But from the front and from a functionality standpoint, I've been using this thing for a few weeks now. It feels cool. It's not too cluttered. I can get work done here because I have been. A couple of Elgato key lights there, of course, controllable with the stream deck. A couple of 4K 
monitors next to my MacBook Pro. Again, this is where I work just for work. And so I use a MacBook for work and that's why I can't really stream because Macs aren't great for streaming. Though this is a faster computer than my previous one. And so we'll see if I can actually stream from it. But you know, it's a great setup for working. I'm a web developer by trade, by work, my day job. So uh, I need a nice computer setup. And then I also like editing. So nice computer setup is nice for that too. Above it, more shelves with more of my stuff. Again, I was gonna go simple here and then I am again incapable of doing so. I did kind of try to stick with some fun color schemes over here. We got silver over there. We got white and some blue accents up there. Some red over there, some orange. I don't know, it looks pretty cool. Again, you got any specific questions about specific items up here? Basically everything on display has a story from somewhere or another. So feel free to ask and I'll feel free to share. Like that lightsaber is the one I custom built at Galaxy's Edge in Walt Disney World. That's where the wooden stormtroopers also come from. Also, I like stormtroopers in case you haven't noticed. Those shelves are of course bordered by a couple of cabinets. I need some hidden storage around here. Those are propped open right now by actually some uh, piece separators because I don't have handles on those cabinets yet. And if I let them close, they won't actually Actually close. Those are again Ikea, but Ikea doesn't make those cabinets in the color that I wanted, which is the turquoise that happens to match the turquoise of the Alex drawers, but they only make the doors in that color. They also make cover panels in that cover and in that color. And so I had to make custom surrounds for each of the cabinets on all four sides with more cover panels. So these aren't just like stock things you can buy. Like the shelves aren't shelves you can buy. I've just bought uh, I don't know, one by 12s and then stained them walnut colored and mounted them to my walls. There's a lot of little stuff like that that isn't super visible, like the fact that there's lighting back there and lights that come off those shelves, but there aren't cords hanging down to an outlet down below because I added a new outlet hidden behind those shelves. The same with up here. There's obviously backlighting there, but there's no cords hanging down because I added another outlet hidden behind there. So, you know, I had to do a little bit of electrical work to uh, get everything just the way I wanted it to be. And so the overall result, I think, turns out pretty nice. So yeah, that's about the space. I don't know how well the lighting comes across on camera. It feels very cozy and cool in person. Feel free to stop by if you're ever in town, but don't ask where I live because that's not a real invitation. If you know me, if you're friends with me, then feel free to stop by. But other, otherwise, just like enjoy it from here and say, hey, that looks nice, Josh. So thank you for taking this tour with me. I hope you like this space and I hope you like the videos that come out of this space. Also, I hope you've realized that the name Josh Builds Stuff comes from more than just building Lego. I really do enjoy building other stuff too. Again, if you have more specific questions, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer in the comments if there are a lot of them or if they're a little too complicated. Maybe I'll do a Q&A video sometime down the road and really get into the weeds with some of the individual pieces around here. As always, thanks so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to like, subscribe, and tell your friends. If you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to writing my next video. Josh. Builds. Stuff.